Not all materials need adhesion to protect devices from the environment. However, for more demanding applications, stronger adhesion may be required. Dow has many adhesives and self-priming product choices. However, if the desired product does not have enough adhesion to a given surface, using a Dow Sill primer may help. Primers essentially can turn adhesion on just where they are applied. Dow has primers for a variety of surfaces in silicone product combinations. While any primer may improve adhesion, use the Dow Primer Selection Guide to choose top candidates for a given combination. Best practice is to test several primers to determine which will work best for your specific application. Now that you have one or more primers to test, let's walk through the best ways to use primers to achieve optimal adhesion. There are three important things to keep in mind when dealing with primers. One, primers promote adhesion at the substrate's outer surface. Two, primers are solvent diluted solutions of adhesion promoters. Three, Dowsil primers are moisture reactive and require a cure time before applying silicone over them. Cleaning can be accomplished many ways. Plasma discharge, solvent washing or wiping, using water with a detergent with a clean water rinse afterwards. Note, you do not need to oven dry surfaces before priming. Liquid water on the surface should be avoided, but oven drying is unnecessary. Many people skip this cleaning step. Good adhesion may be obtained, but cleaning is a great way to standardize the surface for bonding and aids in error-proofing manufacturing processes. With a clean surface, you are now ready to apply the primer. Remember point number two. Primers are solvent diluted solutions of adhesion promoters. Most primers use flammable solvents, so make sure all priming processes are done with adequate ventilation and in areas that are approved for using flammable solvents. When applying primers, the goal is less is best. Optimal adhesion occurs with a very thin layer, so thin that as the solvent evaporates away, you might not see the primer at all. To manually apply, pour a little primer onto a clean cloth and wipe or scrub it onto the surface. Do not leave any puddles. You can use a fresh cloth to remove any excess. Make sure to cover all areas that need good adhesion. Another manual process is to apply primer with a brush. This allows more precise control of where the primer is applied. Take care not to let an open container of primer sit out uncovered for more than 10 to 15 minutes to avoid moisture reacting with the active primer ingredients. For both manual and automated processes, parts can be dipped in primer and excess blown off with pressurized air. The most common way to apply primer is by spraying. Simple airbrush or paint sprayers work well. Using air passed through a drying agent will help to keep the primer in top condition between applications. Just barely wet the surface. Again, less is best when it comes to how much primer to apply. It is easier to apply too much primer when spraying. This is characterized by a white chalky residue on the primed surface. To help avoid this, some users add solvent to the primer. Use very dry solvent, and the best are those already in the primer. It is common to dilute with two to four times more solvent when spraying. Once the primer has been applied and any excess wiped or blown off, we reach the third important point. Dow Sill primers are moisture reactive and require a cure time before bonding. Moisture reactive means that they will start to cure as soon as they are exposed to moisture in the air. If primers are left open, it will impact adhesion. The early stages of this are invisible, but eventually the primer will have small white particulates and turn cloudy. We are showing this by adding a drop of water to a primer. If you shake the container, you may see what looks like floating snow. A few visible flakes are okay, but when you get enough to swirl around, that primer container should be discarded and a fresh one opened for use. So now you have chosen which primer to use, cleaned your bonding surfaces, and applied a very thin layer of primer.
Now you are ready to dispense your silicone over the primer, right? Not quite yet. Point number three is still here. The primer needs to cure. This has been described as drying. The solvent in the primer will dry, but the adhesion promoters then need to cure before they will help with adhesion. Optimal primer cure times can vary, and it is recommended to test for your application. A guideline is to cure primers for one hour. Low temperatures and or humidity require longer cure times. Generally, there is a minimum required cure time, but not a maximum. If the primed surface remains clean, the surface should be ready for good bonding for days, weeks, or even months. If a primed surface is suspected of having become contaminated, the surface can be wiped with a solvent or a second thin layer of primer can be applied over the first layer. Once the primer has cured, you are ready to apply your choice of silicone material and cure according to that product's cure schedule. Priming cannot achieve perfect adhesion for all silicones to all surfaces, but can easily improve adhesion performance for many applications.